Let's see what the sniper rifle is like here. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's just so weird. I think that's all the reason I don't like him. Oh, I shot him right in the butt! Beautiful morning dawns. Hey guys, <laughs> Seth and in here. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm back with a little more Imperion. I upgraded to the assault rifle. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to shoot these guys? I could just meet. I wonder if it. No, oh, don't run. Don't run away. Don't run away. Another day has dawned. I'm on low food. I just scared away all those things. So I returned from that space station or orbiting this planet here. Which was great. It was a good station, but you basically need money for everything. Like you can't get money, I don't think, apart from, I read on the forums, I think gold? Or else killing other aliens. So, yeah, so you can't, I, so I can't buy anything anyway right now. So I, you know, I wandered back here. I picked up some growing plots here. I built some out of here. I had a bunch of things. So I'm going to grow some food. I'm going to grow some plant fibers maybe. So acuberry, tomato, wheat, per thing. Okay, so all this stuff. I think I'm just going to grow a bunch of it. Per thing sprout. I have no idea what that is. Corn. Yeah, good to have corn. Pumpkin. Why not? Pumpkin. I don't know. We'll just plant everything we can plant. How about that? Durian sprout. Uh, is that... Oh, wow. Durian fruit is quite strong fruit. Has a quite distinct odor and things. But anyway, okay, let's do that. Now, I found out that I already had some food plots over here. So I go over this way. Whoops, uh, I'm out of jet fuel or my jet turned off or something. Jet is turned off. So these are already, uh, they say somewhere, where do they say? Oh, when I select my, my tool to view things, five, here we go. It says, Growing plot. This is a steel growing plot. Ah, I had no idea. That was a steel growing plot. So these are all growing plots. I thought they were some sort of dirt thing, but it turns out they're growing plots. So I could actually plant something in here, but I need to have the growing lights on there. And again, so the same problem I had last time that the wall is on the wrong side. And these only do a distance of two. Uh, two spaces, so you need a bunch of them around, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work here. Basically need to put them on kind of the wall facing, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's try planting something first. Let's take this guy. Uh, where did it go? Oh, I see. That's kind of cool. Can so uh, nothing go here because of that wall? Oh, okay. You know what we've got to do? We gotta detach this thing. Am I on disassemble? Okay, oops, made a hole in there too. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just disassemble all this garbage here. Okay. So then I can uh I can put a regular block there. Uh no, how's that gonna work? How how are you supposed to do this? <laughs> so I put a regular block there. If the wall is facing in there. Where do I have... all I have is... Tr oh yeah, I put everything else in in here. I do have a quick access now to that thing, which is good. So wood blocks, let's do a wood block. Okay, we'll come back to that guy in a minute. So what I think I want to do is put a wood block... ...there, maybe? <gasps> What's going on? <gasps> oh, he's... he's starving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's hilarious. I had no idea. Oh yeah, actually I won't be able to put anything in that square because of that wall entirely. So it doesn't matter. Oh! See, that's the part that really, really bugs me. I think this would be such an awesome game. Can I... So I need to access the fuel... thing. What if I did this? Say I did that. And you can't... How does this... How's the grow light gonna work? Ah! What can I do? So I'm guessing, here's my guess. I'm gonna plant these guys right here. Boom, like that. My guess is I can't put a block there and a grow light on the block. It's gonna say it doesn't work, right? 
Uh, so I don't know how you're supposed to... So the grow lights only work at a distance of two, I read somewhere. Range two blocks. Does that count the block they're on? Does it have to be directed down on them? Uh, so many questions that I have. Let's see if I just do... Let's say I do that. And let's grab some wood block. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, it has to be... Distance of two. So if I put a block there... Hmm. This is a little bit... Challenging. Oh! Disaster. I fell off. I fell off the edge. Okay, let's... Get here. Come on. Ah! Ha! <laughs> ah, this is getting a little bit tricky. More tricky than I wanted it to be, for sure. Okay, say we're... Say we're up here. Can we get on there? You know, edge building is... Oh! Oh! It killed me! <laughs> well, it disappeared. Did I lose that block then? Ah! Oh. Oh my gosh, oh, I don't get it. Can I, maybe I can just put a light up here. Would that be sufficient? Is it against that thing? Boom. Do you think that'll work? Two blocks, I don't know. No idea, they might die. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. So what can I, what other option? The other option is to build another wooden block here and then light on that wooden block. I guess we'll do a test, I guess we'll see. Let's do that, let's figure out corn sprout. Okay, I have lots of corn sprouts, so let's do that with corn sprout. That's probably what I should have did, two corn sprouts side by side. We'll go make some more wooden blocks. Okay, so let's do that. I'll go over there. Boom, like that. Oh! Hmm. Oh, yeah. So my guess is that it only reaches this one plant. Let's put another corn plant behind it. Do you think that'll be enough to reach these guys? Do you think they'll grow or they'll just die? And then this is two blocks this way, so maybe they're okay. Imagine this guy will die. So we'll do some tests here. Corn sprout. Okay, just they just say sprouts. Okay. Wish you could get details on them, like if they're getting enough of that sun and all that kind of thing, right? Hmm. Okay, I also have a bunch of iron that I mined. I went mining for iron because you need iron for bullets. And I have a few extra guns now. I built, I can't build the assault rifle T2 because I'm missing an upgrade kit. My guy is dying again. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how much? Oh, he's got 49. What is he complaining about? I got 49 now. Uh, okay, thank you. Let's see, building blocks, devices, decoration. What am I looking for? Components, iron. Yeah, so let's just do all the iron. I don't know how much is there, but. Yeah, so like I was saying, I need iron for all of these uh, gut bullets and stuff like that. So for my super guns, I need all these kind of bullets. Don't know how long plants take to grow, but we better go in, eat something, and then maybe I'll go hunting. Where's my door? <laughs> who, who moved the door? <laughs> I can't... Where's my door? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh, I found one of these guys again. I've seen this guy before, but let's try out... Let's see what the sniper rifle is like here. Look at that guy. He's just so weird. I think that's all the reason I don't like him. Oh, I shot him right in the butt! Oh! He's tough. Oh, he's a tough little guy. <laughs> I like the sniper rifle, for sure. Sounds kind of gross. Alien parts. Raw meat. Well, that's pretty good. At least I got some meat. Definitely gonna st end up starving here if I don't, uh... Don't watch it. Kind of wanted to take the gun out for a spin, though. Sniper rifle, I like. Can we shoot the butterfly? Let me shoot the butterfly. <laughs> okay, I don't think you shoot the butterfly. <laughs> So that's pretty good. The sniper rifle is definitely good. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, that was... whoops. I went by too fast. That was the plant fiber. The one that looked like sticks. If I remember... oh, here you go, right here. Look at this. This one is the plant fiber. Just, like, twigs sticking out of the ground. That's your plant fiber, and those are... those are... Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, now these guys here... Can I zoom in any further? Oh, you can with the mouse wheel. That's pretty awesome. 
Oh yeah, we got him! Oh man, I really like the sniper rifle. That's pretty awesome. Let's go assault rifle with this guy and see if we can't take him out with assault rifle. Take it down! Take it down! Yes! Nice, got some milk. There's something weird. <gasps> what the heck is that? <laughs> Oh. I forgot those plant things. <laughs> that is... Oh my gosh, where did that thing come from? That's terrifying. Where the f is this thing? Okay, let's grab, grab our stuff. Okay, we'll go get some food because I'm pretty much going to die from lack of food. So I'm going to go back to the base, get some food, and then be our beast. Oh, I just drank a bit of milk and it said you have food poisoning. So we just got to the next level. Oh, food poisoning, poisonous bite. Oh, I got bitten, that's why. I thought I was uh, food poisoning. You are now, you have been bitten and poisoned. Use an appropriate remedy. Med kit or antidote to cure poison. And I have food poisoning. Oh, just appropriate medi. Okay, so I need something to cure food poison. Let's take a look in the fridge. What cures food poisoning? Poisonous bite? Can I eat one of those? Okay, that got rid of the poisonous bite. Now I need something for food poisoning. Okay, well, let's use a small med kit. Let's just take that. There, we did it. We're good. And we should have a bunch of food coming out of here. So I've been using salamis because the perish times are a lot longer. And so that way I can carry them around a lot longer. Spoiled food? We've got a bunch of spoiled food now too, which is awesome. So I can make more plant stuff and more more nutrient soil. Let's do that anyway. We'll just make some of that up. And so this this is not super good. Mule milk made me gave me food poisoning. Can I turn it into anything? <gasps> no, purified water. Oh no, that's no good. Raw material. I thought oh you can make cheese. What should we do? Should we make cheese? Let's make some cheese. Cheese is good to have. What's this one? That's a fiber plant. Oh yeah, yeah, do I have... Uh, I think I'm okay for fiber now. Let's make some cheese. I've got five, let's make five or ten, however many it takes. <laughs> make some cheese. Let's go see how the iron ore is doing, iron stuff is doing. Wow, 840 ironing it, so that's pretty good. It looks like you can just store as much as you want. I like that these stacks will go right up go right up to 999, which is pretty awesome. That's uh, definitely a good feature. And then let's make some bullets, so... Sniper rifle. Oop. Yeah, so sniper rifle here is 12.7 millimeter. That's this guy. Let's make a bunch. Two, three, let's do... Yeah, so that sniper rifle is awesome to have. And I've got lots of Assault rifle bullets of 5.8 millimeters, so that's good. And let's squirt all this stuff back. I think that's pretty decent. So we'll have some more bullets. Those plants take about half an hour, they said, to grow. So, what should I do? Let me see. Growing one. So for sure the light over here is working. This light is reaching that, oh boy, just <laughs> over jump quite a bit. So that light it for sure is working, not sure about this light or if it's reaching the guys in the back. So these are corn, which I think take about half an hour to, uh, to grow. So I'm gonna, oh wait, birth thing growing one. Okay, so it did grow. Birth thing growing one, corn sprout, corn sprout. It says corn sprout still, okay. Birth thing growing one, so I can't interact with them. Okay. I'm gonna wait for these things to grow and see see how they do. I think it's like a half hour or something, so I'll do that. I'll probably fix up the base a bit and then I'll come back, see if they grow and if they have grown. And then we'll check them out. Hey guys, I'm back and things have been growing, so not too bad. It's a little hard to tell sometimes, but it looks like tomato growing one. Oh, sorry, whoops, where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Show it again. You, you just showed it, and then you disappeared. What's going on? Uh, there you go. Corn growing. So I think it goes 
corn sprouts, so I planted some things over here. So I think this is the order of business. Wheat growing, alberry growing, fiber plant growing, pumpkin growing. Hmm. So I think it starts out as sprout, and then it says growing, and then it says, oh yes, yeah, here, corn sprout. So these guys aren't grow. oh yeah, these guys aren't growing at all, so I think the distance there is too far. So I need another light to make these guys grow. But these guys are done. It says F to pick up four perthing fruits. That's pretty awesome. There we got some fruit. We did it. Success. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So things are growing. So this says tomato growing one. I think it then has to go tomato growing two. And then it'll say you can actually harvest stuff. So that's pretty awesome. I think that's really good. Uh, yeah, so I got some wheat growing. I got some pumpkin growing. I got some fiber plant growing. I've got, what is this? Uh, Akaberry, Akuberry, Akwaberry or something like that. Growing lots of stuff growing, which is great. Things are working pretty awesome. I think right now I did a little bit of exploring and a little bit of base building, so I built that extra little bit on there, but that's just about it. It takes quite a long time for growing. Oh, oh, I discovered something. So in that top uh, right-hand corner at the top, so it's mostly cloudy lake, and then it's got a, that little sundial thing and uh, timer. I thought it was a clock, so I thought it said, oh, okay, it's 7 o'clock, 7.02 in the evening or something like that. That's actually the time how long until the sun sets right now? So it'll say seven hours until the sun is setting right now exactly. Now it's 6.58, etc. And then the dial will switch when the sun is coming up, so it'll say how many hours until the sun rises. So I got super confused. I thought that was just a regular clock. Turns out it's when things are going to happen. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that feature, actually. That's a really awesome idea. I tried out the shotgun. It works pretty good. Uh, can't remember if you were around when I built the shotgun, but I built the shotgun and then I made uh, some bolts for it and then I took it out for a test bin and it worked pretty good. It's actually pretty decent. The downside is it only holds four bolts, but but uh, I think today has been successful. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks a lot for coming to hang out with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again next time and uh, see how Empyrean handles things. All right, take care, have a great day. See you again real soon, bye bye.